to wrap up the year. Something that would interest you. You know, we started a series. The mystery of God's faithfulness. Huh? Okay. But this morning, I want to... Um, I don't know whether it was part three or something. I was trying to teach you something about how to make decrees. But I couldn't get into that. Hmm? But let's digress a little bit from the decree. If we have time and we're able to merge the two of them, you would see where it fits in. <clears throat> a lot of people had a terrible 2023. A lot of people, things never worked for them in 2023. There are many ministers of the gospel who missed it in 2023. There are some believers who started very well. But along the line, they missed it. There are people you know that are notorious in their faith for Jesus. But along the line, they began to Wave in their faith. I've often asked the Lord, why is it that sometimes you find people who were once strong in the faith? Then the time will come, they will start shaking. I bet you I'm not trying to prophesy negative here. But there are people, if they are not fortunate enough, blessed enough to hear what I'm going to say today. 2024 is going to be so terrible. Because the same leading spirit that has misled many is going to still be very active in 2024. A lot of people were misled. And it all boils down to what I want to share with you. You see, in science, We were made to believe, and this is nothing but the truth, it's a fact, a proven fact, that every insane person, that means mad someone you see um, in the streets, probably of Lagos or any other, because it's not only in Nigeria that you have mad people. The only thing is that you have more mad people in the first world countries, in first world world, all those developed, civilized, you have more insane people than this side of the world. The only difference is we allow us to roam the street while you don't see theirs. Go to the psychiatric hospital and you are going to see a lot of people visiting. Some normal people go for, for consultations, for, for experiments. <laughs> they experiment them. So, they just have very good structure that house these people. And you don't know. They have home asylum for depressed people that has gone very high. But behind every depression you see, depressed person, behind every insane person, there is something they usually hear. They hear voices. It is that voice 
that they gave attention to. Sometimes you see them talking. It's as if they are talking to someone. They are relating with a voice. They are talking back to a voice. Because now they are in a realm that you cannot see. Something is speaking to them. There is nobody here that doesn't hear voices. Let me touch someone. Say, you heard one this morning. Tell another person you heard last night. I have seen strong believers who love the Lord and were deceived. They lost it. Because of these voices. If you go to these rehab homes, Yaba left, there are insane people there, depressed people, mad people you see there who are quoting scriptures. Divide, divide off. They were on the bridge, but they strayed off. They were misled by a voice. They paid too much attention to what a particular voice was giving to them, and they strayed off. Jesus said, I am the way. But I tell you, there are many ways. But he says, if it's to the Father, I'm the only way. But he never said, I'm the only way to the realm of the Spirit. There are other ways by which men assess the Spirit realm. How do you think man fell? It was by listening to a voice. The voice would always look for the weaker vessel. And in this context, I'm not looking at women only, no. There are weak men too. And it doesn't, it's not your structure, it's not your chest. Does your spirit have chest? Is your spirit muscular? Because you have a V shape here, yeah. you're very muscular. Your hands are huge. But does your spirit, does the hand of your spirit, is it huge? Is it big enough? Have you exercised those muscles? So it's had nothing to do with the gender here. Eve was deceived by voice. She kept hearing this voice. And was having conversation. Relationship with his voice. Adam on the other hand. Was hearing a voice. So from inception. It has been the mystery of the voice. In the cool of the day God will come. And Adam. Where are thou? So Adam was hearing a voice. Maybe you have a sister. A brother, a loved one, an auntie, who you know used to be a very fervent believer. I want you to begin to observe, fight, when you see that this person is now gradually, gradually, gradually becoming a lonely person, distancing himself or herself from people, and love to stay alone. I'm not saying to be quiet is bad. But when you are driven by that voice, you find out that a time will come, people no longer appease you. They are no longer appealing to you. You want to stay away from family members, friends. You are detached. 
you now stay in a place enjoying the confines and the pleasure of that voice gradually it tells you there's no need baiting Shh, i'm not i'm not joking i'm telling you something because you don't know what i came to teach it's my last message for 2020 before we enter 20 so you need to the lord told me if you don't share this now there are many people it's not just the people here now there are a lot of people that will hear this message and they will be delivered and many people will hear it and that will be their freedom start don't bait don't eat stay stay away from the house observe them as they wake up very early or late at night to spend time in what they call quiet time or prayers or whatever because they are being mismanaged by a voice it's a spirit but it coded itself in speaking to them they hear a voice some of you here you are you have become so irrational because there's a voice that speaks to you that is louder in thoughts i know young girls who missed it in life at 10 at 11 at 12 at 13 at 15 because they were unable to manage the spirit that voice that voice sometimes appeared to certain people early enough in their life but for some it waits they tell you you're not loved leave the house you stay that's how they indulge into addictions and things you find yourself drinking you just want to taste because the voice connects you to other people that it has misled they now come into your world so they say have you tried ginger try what's all those just no just is more there's this one wow it's a little cooking no no there's one thing this gay brother colos why are you behaving as if you don't know it say try colos colos you know from colos is the hebrew word for colo <laughs> arabia ziega are you getting what i'm saying now because you don't know so you say try it you take it you start laughing you he becomes very visible to you now and you dwell there so you you've gone past those ones that they sell or those ones they wrap those ones no longer appeal to you it is that voice that is introducing you you know sometimes you ask people how do they get to the level of mixing things like that guy sang that song what's it how did you go oh, it is that you see such people walk out of their marriage because they're listening to something this man doesn't love me i think he spends time with someone else my ex would have been far better he begins to tell you because that voice does not believe in the institution set up by god so it's going to tell you things to make you leave that place. That man of God does not love you. If they love you, they won't treat you like this. You need love. And love is in the street. You see? And now you begin to ask which street. They now begin to lead you one by one. Until finally your destination will be Yaba. Which is the major headquarter of all streets. Some people are so destabilized that they wake up midnight. There are some of us who don't sleep at night. Do you know there are some people who are sick today because an outside voice spoke to them. Maybe this thing you are feeling is a symptom of cancer. So you pick up your phone quickly and Google about cancer. All he's looking for is trying to tell is, I'm trying to assess you, but I can't. Until you accept me, then I walk in. You open the door for me to come in. I've been trying to. So he's knocking. So you begin to Google. Now, the first thing that that thing gives you is fear. The moment you are scared, the door is open. He now comes in. 
The moment he comes in, he has still not been able to establish that thing. So what kind of cancer am I going to give to this person? So he now makes you, you now love a particular drink or a particular thing or a particular food. You begin to feast on that thing. Then it now begins to pile up on your inside. There's complication. Before long, it's cancer. That's how some women got fibroid. That's how some people got lump. You lost your first child. You had a miscarriage. The voice came. Because the voice loves to go to people who are pained. Who are going through pain and affliction. Are you listening to me? So he loses, he uses, he, he capitalizes on that. So he goes there and begins to tell you, can you see? And you go to church every Wednesday. Of what use is this praying of a thing? Haven't you seen believers sometimes in the act of worship, they hold their head and they scream. And to crown it all, there are dimensions to which these voices had invaded them. So when they scream like that, that voice lose a certain level. But there are other levels because if their staircase is about seven years built for some 14. So when you scream, you, you break one ladder. Then you, there are others that it has built. That's how people got into masturbation. That's how some people got into watching pornography. That's how some people got into leaving a guy, entering another one. But the end of it is, that's how people get to, they hear that thing, go and draw something on your body, tattoo. They put it, and it tells you exactly the animal to choose. You put a scorpion. That's the very voice. That is the inscription, the image of the spirit that has been trailing you all the while. Like I saw a lady and she drew a fish at her back. It was by, there's something at your back. She said, yes. It was a fish she drew. Letting you know that the spirit, the voice that had been invading her world, is from the waters. And she's so promiscuous. She can't control her urge. All of those things. The voice. Sometimes this voice can tell you. You will never be successful in life. You will fail the exam. Your car will crash. You will die by this sickness. I will give you this. I will give you that. Your parents don't love you. Those voices. Today, the Lord had sent me to come teach you how to silence those negative voices. I thought you would celebrate God. True. Do I have people here? Can I relate with people who have experiences of such? Anybody like that? Do you hear such things? Does it happen to you? I think I made a mistake in my life. Maybe you, you had an abortion. And now, aside the voice of guilt, the moment that thing happened, that spirit, that voice wants to capitalize on that thing. Just to gain entrance into your life. And it's going to destroy you. If you made a mistake in your life in the past, do I have candidate of mistakes here before? Do I have anybody like that? You've made mistakes in your life? Jesus came for such people. The first thing you must understand is that He loves you. Irrespective. When John 3.16 was written, For God so loved the world. You were not born. You were in His mind. So He loved you before creation. He loved you before you ever sinned or didn't sin. So I'm going to show you how. The first thing you need to understand is that you see in this life. Go to 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse number 10. The Bible tells us there are many voices. Go there. You know, I find something very deceptive here. Very, very, this is very deceptive to some people. They feel that when the devil will come, he will come with horn 
and stand and tell you, Ori, I am Satan. I came to kill you. No, sir. It comes in different formats. It comes in different formats. The same way God in the faithfulness of God, understanding God's faithfulness, spirits find expression with mortals. You know what he said to Moses in Exodus? I have heard the cry and the weeping of my people in Egypt. And I have come down to save them. In who did he come down? In Moses. Do you know that depression is a spirit? But it has many followers. Like you could have 4 billion or 18 billion spirit of depression. All over the world. And mortal. We are not up to 18 billion. But you have more spirit of depression than mortal. Right now, they might send 4.5 billion spirit of depression to Nigeria. And 3 billion in Lagos. So, you have more spirit of depression looking for people. The same way more spirit of suicide, you have them like that. Are you getting what I'm saying now? You just have them like that. And all they are looking for is an opportunity. So they just come, they whine you. Tell someone, they whine you. The first thing is sexy. He said, "Mm -mm." You are hearing something. When you are alone, you sit down alone and you are brooding over something. I'm not saying it's wrong to think. Not me. I'm not saying it's bad to think. But the Bible tells us what to think about. Okay? Let's start with that one. Philippians 4, 8. What to think about. And if you're thinking, you're thinking, the thoughts, the things you are thinking, if they are not framed in these things, leave them. Leave that thought. Where, where, where did I say we should look for first? To start with that one, right? Are you blessed already? So if we close this service, you are good. Alright, let's share the grace. Finally, verse 8, my brethren, Whatsoever things are true, he's giving us the things to think about. Too. Whatsoever things are true, number one, whatsoever things are honest, s- 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 look at me. L- l- let's look at me. whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. He has told you what to think on. The message translation says, summing it all up, friends, I say you would do best by filling your minds and meditating on things that are true, noble, reputable, authentic, compelling, gracious, the best, not the worst, the beautiful, not the ugly, things to praise, not things to curse. For instance, when you pick your phone and you begin to think, maybe you stumble on a site where you see a guy making out with about four ladies. It's not pure. It's not noble. It's madness. That's how we got into certain things. We imported a lot of things into our world. You know, back then, back then in Africa, one of the things they know them for in the African culture and dressing is that they do a lot of beads. They do beads. Are you with me? But the beads we see now and the way in which they frame them up and the way the people who dress dress these things, it's to another degree. So the first thing again you ask yourself, is there any praise in this thing? When you decide to put on those clothes that are so shorty, That I now have to use my handkerchief to now support it. Is there any praise there? 
When you watch movies where a guy is beating his wife and you do not know that abuse and molestations are sponsored by certain voices and you begin to watch these things, they are not pure. With time, you begin to meditate on these things. So when you have a girl you want to get married to and she says something, the next thing that the thing prompts you to do is to slap. Slap her. It's an outside force. He's telling, slap her. She will say you'll be mad. Slap. So you are struggling. If nobody say, nobody waiting. The thing is telling you, remove your leg and slap. Slap her. Say no. Then you walk out. The day you yield, they build the first staircase. You know what? You will conquer it. If not, it will wait for you in the future. That door has already been opened. That door is open. How do you think divorce starts? When that voice begins to bombard your mind on not forgiving, on checking out that there is something far better outside than what you have. That's how some ladies had dated. Some ladies can't even count the number of guys that they have dated. Some guys can't count the number of ladies that they have had sex with over their life. And they are probably just 35. But you can't, you've lost count. This is why you find a lady telling you that I can't marry that guy. And they ask you, why can't you marry that guy? Say, because he can't satisfy me. So you've already tried out to know, is he noble? Noble, is he noble? So in your mind, you are calculating. Ade, Toby, Julian, Rodriguez, Kingsley. Ah! Kingsley, ah, Kingsley, good, but that guy is stingy. You are meditating. I wish I can have Justin. He's so kind. I wish I can now carry the manpower of Kingsley, put in Justin. Are you seeing people? You're meditating on something. So there is no way God can tell you he's faithful and you accept. Because you can rationalize things yourself. Am I talking to somebody? Some sisters are smiling at me. It's as if I just nailed something. Only them know in their world. So you begin to think about this. Things. He just showed us what to think about. What about meditation? When you find someone in deep meditation, what are you meditating upon? He told us in, in Joshua 1.8, this book of the law, meditate on the things of God. They shall not depart out. I tell you, before you find those security guys, your gate man or whatever, carry out an action by killing his boss or trying to, they must have thought about these things and thought about them taught about and taught about them. They've taught about these things. Taught about them. Now before you know what's happening, they carry it out. But he's telling us, he's giving us something to think about. That there are voices. Voices. And if you don't learn how to silence them, there's going to be a problem in 2024. You're going to have serious issues. That sounds like some people started out ministries. God begins to, they tell you, God spoke to me. 1 Corinthians 14, 10. God spoke to me. This God don't see something. There are, it may be. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. There are, it may be, so many kinds of voices in the world. And none of them is without signification or meaning. Death has a voice. Someone by, 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 sit by your side and is giving out the sound of voice. The voice of death. But you don't know. 
you know, Brazil was telling me something when, on Friday, you know, and he told me how that, you know, before the father passed, how that the senior brother was there and himself and the father had a lengthy conversation. Now, while he was saying that to me, he never knew I was just, I was paying so, my attention was, I was giving up to attention. He said they had a lengthy conversation. They saw talk, 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 talk. And, you know, it got to a point, the father looked at the time and told the son, go and sleep, you know, you'll be traveling tomorrow. The boy left. He wasn't hearing the voice of death. The moment he entered, he said, 10 minutes after, his body system changed. He came back and the father was gone. Failure has a voice. One of the voice of failure is the inability to accept instruction. Hmm? I know go agree is a voice. Are you, are you getting what I'm saying now? Poverty has a voice. It has its own sound. The people you can't advise. Divorce have. The Bible is telling us there are many different kind of voices in this world. You're normal today. Who comes into your world? Satan uses people to deliver his counsel to us. Psalm 1 tells us, Blessed is the man who does not sit in the seat of the ungodly. He doesn't take the counsel of sinners. So, if Bro Victor here is so close to Sister Wanneka and you know, anything he tells her, she used to. Satan, if this guy is, does not know how to mount guard over his life, Satan can use this guy to speak to this lady and she will accept it. I'm going to show you something. You're going to see it. It happened to your, to your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. If it happened to your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, it can happen to anybody. But we must learn how to silence this. Lift your right hand and say, Lord, teach me. How to silence these strange voices. Fear has there's some of us that had terrible dreams. In the dream, you saw your mother, and she was with a cutlass coming. That's the only way the enemy can project enmity. And you bought that thing. You bought that idea. From that day, your mother became your enemy. Your uncle, your brother, your sister. He used the voice of someone to minister prophecy to you. That that person doesn't love you. And today, you lost it. We need to learn how. Scripturally, is there. Job chapter 31, verse 34. If you're learning something, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Job 31, 34. Let's begin to explore some scriptures. Because I want you to get better as we enter. So if, I, if after this teaching, I find you moody, and I ask you, and you say, nothing sir, nothing sir, I leave you like that, until you begin to wear multiple color. We know that you are good. Because you had already told us nothing, sir. Nothing, sir. So when you find a lady painting this place green, here, purple, here, orange, I want you to know those are the beginning of something forming. Let me ask two people by your side. Hope you're good. Do like this. Are you okay? Are you okay? Do you know what I mean? Ask another person. Are, are, are you normal here? Are you okay here? 
ask two people, Obi, Obi, Obi Agnesi. <laughs> Are you okay? If you are a wicked person, you are living with a voice. Or a voice is living with you. If you are an unforgiving person, you attract these voices easily. If you are a loose person as a lady, you are very close. There's a voice. If you're temperamental, if you are a positional freak, someone would love to be noticed. Someone would love to occupy a position. You want to be seen. You want accolade. You want to become the sign of all. I tell you something. You are going to have this visitation all the time. The voice will keep telling you. Because anytime they appoint people or they call people for a position and your name is not there, the voice comes. Can you see? They just left you. They just left you. You say, it's true. You start crying. Alone. <laughs> Many people cry and you ask them why and they can't truly explain. There's a voice. Oh, Pepe. Are you with me? They don't know why they are crying. <clears throat> Have I told you of that sister who told me that sometimes she just feels like crying, she just go inside, lock the door, cry. Then she'll feel better, she'll not come out. There's a voice. And I ask her, do you also feel like laughing sometimes you lock the door? And she say, no, you don't feel like laughing. Say. But you feel like crying, say. There are people who are struggling with their Christian life, their Christian faith. Today they are up, tomorrow they are down. Tomorrow they have questions. And you know some of these questions are not steaming from their spirit. They are steaming from these external voices. Bombarding them. Do you know the, the reason? He sees that you are the light. He sees you are going to bring change to the family. So he's bombarding you with things so that you can have questions and derail off. And he knows that he can't strike you if you are still in the faith. He seizes that opportunity to take you out so that he will knock you. Tell your neighbor, stay before they knock you. Yeah. Learn from those where they don't knock. When you see a believer walking like this with Bible, I want you to know they don't knock her. They knock and left. Some they, 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 they go like now nah, nah right, they knock her. I, I, there's a man. If you go to Northwest Filling Station. At um, Westerns, there's a man there every morning. He's there right now as I'm talking to you right now. He's preaching. You know who he's talking to? The pole. How The voice. He hit a point. Bam. Some of the people you see on the road doing early morning cry, there's a voice. Many of them are not normal. They have crossed the line. So when they tell you, Jesus loves you and you refuse, come out there! You go die! They've missed it. Can you say this with me? Lift your right hand. Say, I am who God says I am. I am who God says I am. Say, I'm normal. I'm, normal. I'm, sound. I'm sound. And I'm prosperous. I'm, prosperous. I'm normal. The Holy Ghost lives in me. The Holy Ghost lives in me. Shout amen. amen. Before a believer runs mad, becomes depressed, loses his mind, is talking to himself, he has agreed to that voice. Because two cannot walk. The walking, that's the product of that thing you see, is because of an agreement on the inside. Am I talking to someone? You've agreed to something. They offended you, right? We know. Can you let go? No. 
The voice will visit you. It's a matter of time. You see people chewing their, their gum and their teeth is sounding. Crack, 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 crack. Can I tell you where you are going to go? You are going to the village. The next thing the voice will tell you, go to the village. And when you get to the village, before long you become one who visits native doctors. And you now stay there. You are not married. It's finished. You now live in a hut because you will never live in a good home. In that hut, there's no bed. There's a way you, you lie down. You now say, hmm. So Chinedu wants to succeed in this place. How did you get to that level? It was, it was entertaining that voice. And the, the voice will be meet you. You will not stay in the village. All the people around you, your friends and the people you meet with, are bad people. Because the voice will never allow you. When you are the type that no one advises and you are happy, they speak to you and you can never say thank you. The voice, just expect a visitation. You are the type that they cannot correct. The voice will visit you. It's a matter of time. And when it comes, it will come with its danger. At first, the voice will sound friendly. That is why you will not see any issue with it. Look at Job. Am I helping someone? Mm -mm. Am I helping someone? Job 31, 34. Did I fear a great multitude? Or did the contempt of families terrify me that I keep silence and went not out of the door? The guy is saying something. Now, look at it in the message. Because I was afraid what people would say, fearing the gossip of the neighbors, so much so that I turned myself into a what? A recluse. You know good and well that I didn't. So I decided to stay on my own. Because I, I don't want people. There are people like that. How they got into this thing was because they never wanted people to laugh at them. They don't want to make a mistake. You're a brother. You can't approach a lady. You send someone. So, the person speaks to the lady. The lady says, okay, where is the person? Says this person. And you should come now. Let's talk. Say, I can't come. <laughs> you can't come. Say. Ah. And you want to marry her? Say, ah. How? Sir, tell her for me. <laughs> Once you tell her, and she says yes. <laughs> Amen? Sir, I can't talk. I can't face her. <laughs> you don't want to make mistakes? You feel she's going to scorn you? Laugh at you? Let her do. Psalm 31, verse 18. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You are teaching me good. And I'm learning. That's how some people got into prostitution. There's no better job. There's no better job. Nigeria, nothing. This one, uh, sharp, sharp, you don't get 50. Sharp, sharp, get 50. Sharp, sharp, get 50. Three customers, 150. <laughs> you say, Abi, Abi Bani. Abi Ba. Because he didn't tell you the other things that will follow. Psalm 31, verse 18. Let the lying leaves be put to silence. You didn't hear me. Let the lying leaves be put to silence. What does this lying lips do? Which speaks grievous things, proudly and contemptuous against the righteous. That means there's something. Now, he didn't show us how. He says, well, let it keep silent. Keep quiet. How do I silence it? You've not told me. But he's telling you, this is his decree. Let that voice, is a lying lips. Keep quiet. All of a sudden, he's telling you, you will die, you will die, you will die. You will never make it, you never make it, you never make it. And you start accepting it. He said, let such lying lips keep silence. Lift your right hand. Say, Father, in my life, in 2024, 
let every lying lips speaking evil against me be silenced shout amen Amen. psalm 32 thank you jesus He's going to see something now. So he told us, let them keep silence, right? Let them keep silence that speak evil. He now says in verse 3, this is how to tackle it. When I kept silence, my bone waxed old through my roaring all the day long. Which means, he's trying to teach you something. There's a way to deal with this thing. When I kept silence. The thing is talking, you kept silent. The thing is talking, you kept silent. A story was given. There's this compound where the landlord terrifies everybody. It's a terror. I think it was Pastor So that told us. So, everybody, because the man was an ex-military guy, so everybody that lives in the place, and he loves, he, 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 all his talents are from the West, Yorubans. So when he speaks, everybody will run inside. So he now got to a point when the man noticed that they are scared of him, so, he now moved to the next level. He will tell them, kneel down! You are talking to me, you are standing. So, tenants will kneel down talking to him. So, they were scared. Now, the thing now, one day, a tenant packed out. Then a man from the east came in. So, for some reason, I think, the guy kept water or something, and the man gave him quick notice. Or, forgotten how I said it, maybe he dropped something, the man came in and was shouting, Who dropped that tea? Who dropped that bucket? And the guy was playing on Sadebe. Sadebe. <laughs> He now looks like landlord. They shout. He now came out. <laughs> he now came out. Okay. I might, I won't. It's okay, man. I fetched water, so I dropped it. I wanted to. I will use it to bait. So. I'm talking. You are replying me. The guy say, Ah. Uh-uh. He said, You are even standing. <laughs> the guy. The guy says, Eh. Hey. Oh, guys, as you frustrate. Oh, God, a landlord, you've been a tenant, I'll be a pay. You will not collect the money. For God, come come for this place. Other tenant peeped from the window and noticed that this guy was talking. He said, landlord, see you. I don't hear your story, but you don't know my scores. I go finish you. The landlord stood. Mm, okay, he entered. When other people saw that this man could not even do anything, and this guy, they were like, Wow. So he wrote quick notice and gave me. I said, I know so I was go ahead. I'll go pack out. Three months, that's six months, I go stay for this house. And nothing go happen. La Lord! I said, nothing. The man said, don't do. <laughs> when the voice speaks and you run, it will keep speaking. And the end will be death. I will show you the three ways to silence every voice that is speaking against you. Going forward in 2024, you learn that secret. Are you hearing me? When madness meets madness, the one that is corrosive will shift. Are you with me? David said in Psalm 23 verse 4, Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear. Do you know why? Remember, he told us in 1 Corinthians 14.10 that in this world there are voices. So when he was walking through the valley of the shadow of death, they were speaking, but he refused to fear. He refused. Which means he was saying something while they were saying something. Hello? The moment the devil increases his voice, I will show you something. Thank you, Jesus. Let's, let's watch a secret. Isaiah 31 verse 4. Oh, meshita lama besita. Before I give you the three, let me show you something. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. 
Watch this. Shh. Don't tell anybody. I want to show you a life secret. Catch him. <laughs> huh? We must practice that landlord and tenant method. Mm-hmm. You are praying. It happens sometimes you are praying. Ra, da, ra, de, de, ra, ra, ra. You are there. The voice will just come. You can't make it. You can't make it. You know, you know start seeing yourself crying. There's, there's a compact in the realms. You know why? Because you are disturbing. You are disturbing. They don't want you to get to that place. And you are almost there. You are almost. So they come bombarding. Did I tell you my experience in the bank? I was counting money and someone was talking. And I kept miscounting. And the Lord said to me, Can you see how the one whose voice is louder controls the other? Oh, that's why you miscount. They're telling you you'll be banished. <laughs> There are three ways to silence them. Are you ready? B- before I give you, stretch your hands towards me. Speak in tongues, 30 seconds. Speak in tongues, 30 seconds. Touch the keyboard for me. Speak in tongues, 30 seconds. Prepare yourself for that which is coming. It's a secret. And once I give it to you, we check out. You will marry. Why won't you marry? The voice telling you, you will never make it. You won't amount to anything. It's lying. Today, today, tomorrow no more. My Jesus has answered me. Today, 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 tomorrow no more. My miracle has come to me. Today, 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 today. Tomorrow no more. I must end every voice that speak to me. Today, today. In Jesus' name. The first thing, first secret of silencing this voice. You may not know it's an answer, but it is. Number one. Ignore the voice. There are certain voices that all the power it has in it is just to distract. Come on here. And this is where you need wisdom. You are like a hunter who is gazing at a prey with your gun. You've caught the prey. Then there's a sound. What the sound is doing is to distract you from getting your prey. If you want to get your prey, ignore it. Empty drums make the loudest noise. And once they are making it, don't bother. I walked into the room one day. My little baby was crying. My wife was there pressing her foot. She's crying now. Huh? It's a liver. I know her method. I said, what do you mean? He said, he's asleep. Watch. He said, you, you don't care. He said, I, I care more than you. I know her. Liver. I left. By the time I was about climbing the staircase, everywhere was calm. I came back. She was sleeping. <laughs> it's a method. You know what she did? She ignored. Many devils are just shouting. In 2024, ignore them. But you need the wisdom to know whether it's shouting for nothing 
or there's a reason so long as it's distraction that he wants to create don't bother some are shouting so you open the door that's the other one we're coming because you need the wisdom to know if it is just to distract you sometimes you are praying you get to that realm you, ah, ah, ah. hey keep praying keep praying keep praying tell them say, say come get them at that point let me tell you something you know what you do i will show you something when you know it's a form of distraction put up a scripture before you meditate as you pray that's why if it is becoming too louder stop the prayer get an earpiece put in your ear play song increase the volume increase the worship when the devil knows that this guy don't catch him method he leaves that one isaiah 31 Abi, verse 4 are you learning if you are not learning i will leave you here I'll leave you here. Samani kobata kelekatubi atanista. It happens to everybody. Don't think it's you. It happens to Pastor Debo. It happens to Bishop Ede. The only reason is because men have matured and they have learned. It's because you just started your Christian experience. So every little thing you start crying. So something is stopping me. Oh God, is a is the norm in the realms. When you begin to cross radars in the realms, you cross dimensions, cross territories and communities. Do you know there are communities in the water? There are villages in the water. That's what you do not know. And there are beings in the water. Mm -mm. The same way. The same way you have villages in your village. You have houses in your village. The same way there are, there are houses in the waters. And there are beings there. I told you, there are beings. But you shall have dominion over everything. So when you begin to cross, you cross. There are certain tongues they give you. I want you to know if you can record it. The tongue in which you started the day you received the Holy Spirit. is not the tongue you are speaking now. That means more authority has been given. And with this authority, you are combating certain things. There are certain realms you enter. They, 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 you go, Barada, Barada. They say, for where, for where? You know what you are saying? Lift up your head, all ye gates. And they are saying, no way, no way. They are distracting you. You say, no. Speak it and keep going. At that point, the Holy Ghost might introduce another tongue. Which is a code. You, you just notice you are no longer doing bara. You just go menkita. Me, mentaba. Mentaba. When you say that one, everything becomes silence. Somebody lift your two hands and shout. They may come with your friend and they are seeing things. Come with your spouse. They are seeing things. Ignore them. They hold no water. Say this one, no get anything. Why? Because it's just to distract you. And if they distract you, they get you. So I'm not going to give you attention. You may be distracted. Sometimes some people are talking to you, you are speaking tongue. You sing in the spirit. So they will write your name in their computer and say, Every time we want to distract this lady, she's always saying something. Leave her. They will come to the next one. But before they come, let me show you a scripture. Isaiah 31, verse 4. For thus said the Lord, for thus had the Lord spoken unto me, like as the lion and the young lion roaring on his prey. The guy, the lion has seen his prey. He's roaring. Oh! He says, when a multitude of shepherds is called forth against him, he will not be afraid of their voice. Nor abase himself for the noise of them. So shall the Lord of hosts come down. Watch this now. To fight for Mount Zion and for the hill thereof. That means, this is how God, the same method that the lion sees his prey and he's roaring. Ah! And it doesn't matter who is making noise. He said, that's the same method that God uses to fight for you. So when you gaze your eyes on that thing and there are distractions, don't give attention. He says, by that thing, the Lord will rise. You pray small, they scare you, you stop praying. They, small, they just give you small distraction. They catch you. Satan knows, says, you give her distraction, she will stop praying. They just give you. 
they bombard you say refuse it's a distraction but I said you need wisdom to know which is which because some voices are not just distracting they came to plant and I will show you how to deal with that one they came to plant they came to plant unbelief they came to plant questions believers giftings let me show you something the song you start out praying with should change when you begin to make decree select songs That's, 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 you, you know that at this point now you are not worshipping again mm, it's to make decree mm? let us come and behold at that point you know that there's something set now this is spiritual am, am, am I teaching people are you learning something thank you Jesus Jonah chapter 2 mm. mama nupila tai tepete listen when you get home before you come for the evening service listen to this message mm. as you enter traveling to the village put it in your ear pastor said something because you don't know who you meet there is this the lady you want to marry say yes this one not to mm-hmm. are you with me why is she fair like that it's because of the fairness I like fair people. They catch my gun. Is she strong? I don't need strong one. I need fair one. You know why? If you don't talk to that person like that, there are some that will just talk, you ignore. Mm, we are coming to the realm. Jonah chapter 2 verse 8. You know what it says? They that observe life vanishes forsake their own mercy they are talking ignore ignore is a method ignore is a method carry your bible and go inside i'm telling you by experience huh by experience you will get tired leave him and move number two right reply them reply the voice don't reply like that. Write this. Reply with Rema. Reply with Rema. Rema. Reply. Rema. Re, re. Don't just reply. If you say you run mad, don't let me hug. I will never run mad. You, you didn't say anything. You will say it again. You will have miscarriage. I will refuse to have miscarriage. You didn't say anything. He does not respect your words. He does not respect your words. Do you remember Michael was about to take the body of Moses and Satan contended with him. And Michael said, God, job. And Satan said, don't you have respect? When he looked, he said, the Lord rebuke you. The moment he said, the Lord, he shifted. So, don't reply them like that. Use Rema. Use Rema use Rema that means you must wait what do you mean not just using scripture let the scripture leap out let it be the one that leap out and when it leaps out don't meditate on it shout it shout it shout it in the toilet shout it in the bathroom shout it in the market close your ear and say he had said that I may say I am the Lord Some of you are too official. You are a banker in the spirit. You are wearing suit. You must talk. Reply them. Reply them. Jesus came. Was hungry. 
and the fig tree said no food the bible says he replied and his reply was not good he said no man shall eat of thee henceforth the thing was cursed reply them who is he that speaketh when the lord god has not come? reply them we are too casual if that guy never replied that landlord he will intimidate him reply them there are false landlords there are many landlords that want to take over they never build but they want to take over you may not stop the bed from flying over you but surely you have the right to stop it from pitching on your head i don't care what you say but when you bring it to my territory i reply you you must know how and when to reply and don't just reply reply with rema 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 reply with a scripture when he says you shall die you say no no with long life with long life with long life has he satisfied me when he says you shall be barren you kept hearing you'll be barren again in 20. you say no 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 children shall surround reply reply don't cry if that guy was crying while he was reporting replying the landlord the landlord will know he's weak sometimes our tears is a form of weakness it's a sign of our weakness we're showing that we are weak don't cry reply with rema when you voice out rema you don't cry because you are sure you are standing on the word and the rema word of god is the word of god and god cannot lie reply reply say i have life i have life but i see that is in me then he that is in the world will give you cancer i say no no he took my pains he took my disease upon the cross he laid them on himself i cannot be sick they that dwell in that the inhabitant of zion shall never say that they are sick reply 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 them reply with rema reply with rema don't sing over the river god mm -mm. reply with rema that's the secret of our lord jesus matthew 4. makato makato parita kaskofenata emprita stefelubiana edeba sakutia la kapa stefrede kaskatabina adanezwa delikiata makate kaparata fanate sometimes they will tell you there is at least you don't have anything in your house to eat you shout and close your ear god is faithful in his faithfulness he shall provide you reply you continue your tongue my dad no. why there's a battle there's a battle there's a battle going on you know that anytime you go on your knees to pray that every time you decide to pray your brother's prayer may not be your prayer your mother's prayer may not be your prayer but you know now consistently you have observed that each time you want to pray satan will come to battle you you also be battle ready because one day he will leave your case one day he will leave your case one day He tempted Christ three times. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 4, verse 3. Look at it. And when the tempter came, the tempter, the tempter, he comes. This is the man fasting for 40 days. If he does not have respect for fasting, if he does not have respect for the Lord, if he does not have respect for the anointing, then you think he will have respect for you? No, sir. Why you are fasting, he will come. He came to Christ on the 40th day. The tempter, he tempted him while he was praying. Eating. You are hungry. Say, I know. Command these stones to be made bread. What did he say? He didn't say, No, I don't want to eat. You cannot give Satan. He's intelligent. He replied him with Rema. He gave him a word. He said, God had said, Man shall not live by bread alone. He shifted. Exam passed. They know how many times that they can take your exams before they leave you. For Christ, it was three times. Then he came again, the second one. Look at verse 4. When he answered. Verse 5. Then the devil took him up into the city. And set him upon the pinnacle of the temple. And said unto him. If you truly are the son of God. Cast yourself. Jesus said. He said for it is written. He quoted scripture. You have not even got you to that, depth, that level. Where the tempter quotes scripture for you. To convince you that he is the Lord. He shall give his angels charge concerning thee. And their hands shall bear thee up. Least at any time thou dash thy foot against the soul. Jesus answered. It is written again. 
again. Thou shall not tempt the Lord thy God. It is written again. Sir, how many times do I quote it until they leave me? Again and again and again and again and again and again. Because the demon sent to Jesus is not the demon, demon sent to you. The different demon. You quote it again. You don't say no. I come on the altar. My hands are clean. Nobody can kill me. See, they will not just kill you. They will roast you. They will turn. They will turn you into a suya. They will be dividing you. Quote scripture. Use rema to reply. Ma, the problem with many of us is that we don't have the word. We don't have it inside. The reason I told you to know God for yourself and know these things is because days like this are there. They are there. They are there. You never know the one I spoke yesterday in the afternoon while I was praying. I shouted. I shouted. I shouted. The Lord reigned and let his enemies be scattered. The moment I said it, I had peace. He will always come. I want you to know that you are not the only one. That's why I'm telling you my experience. He always will come. He doesn't need your home address. He told God in the book of Job, I moved to and fro. When he came a room, okay? They want to cause confusion, create madness. You say no. No, 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 no. He gave it his beloved peace. Reply him with what? Rema. Some of you think he doesn't have it. See, oh Jesus, Bashiba la katama di kaprate kutahata because tongue is a confusion to him, he wants to know what you are saying, so he comes to bombard you. Reply, many have vied of the faith because they haven't learned how to reply the devil with Rema, with scriptures, with logos. You think you're going to have a good future like that? Without any trouble? Dr. Mokbai said life without problems and challenges is a stupid life. He said it's a useless life. He said the beauty of life is the amount of challenges you overcome. 2024 without problem is not sweet. How thick are you? When they stab you, how thick are you? You are passing in the realms. They stone you. How thick? Satan knows our texture. We learn faith in church. We practice faith in the world. We learn faith in the church. We practice faith in the world. It's in the market life that we practice the faith that we have learned in the church. The pastor equips us. The people test us. Situation test us. Then we stay. You might be listening to this message right now and before you get home, you even slump like you fall. Sit down and say, let me see. As they are willing you, be saying it in your spirit. I leave. Satan, is this the best you can do? I leave. You, you are telling him in his spirit. You, you are saying it. You, you, you are saying it within you. You want to keep quiet in 2024? They will roast you. I'm telling you, they will roast you. You thought somebody said, Let me marry so I can settle down. No lie. There's no peace. Enter. Ego tell you say welcome. They add more demon to the one where they follow you. Oh, your fire 
next three months your tummy starts swelling up ah, what is all this the demons are laughing <laughs> they will start speaking pg it is not to get to marry nine be the thing come born look we see your husband will just start saying, I'm not cut out for this shit, man. I'm not cut out for this shit, man. I'm not cut out for this. Oh, God! Oh, God! In a super care. Confront them before they finish you. That's the third one. Confront the voice. Don't just ignore. Don't just reply. Confront them. You know what that guy did to the landlord? He confronted. Sometimes you don't just reply with Rema. You confront it. And tell it who are you? What is wrong with you? Are you normal? Do you not know who I am? I'm a child of God. Let me tell you who I am in the realms. And sometimes I pray, I pray, I pray. Para pata pata raka para tala pata zeta kata repa rata. Then I shout. I'm a I'm a child of God. They know my names in the realms. I shout it. Makuba. Talada. Then I will shout it. I'm anointed. I know I'm anointed. So I tell them in case they are forgotten. I'm anointed. And the voice is with me. Padaba takuta. Takuta patadua. Teteta kutwa sata. Kutuka patua katadi. Kapita kuske pata. You see that the tongues have even changed. You know the tongues have changed. Because you have declared who you are. I'm Obina. My name in the realms. The hand of God is upon me. For the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Say it with boldness. Say my name is Esther. My name is Queen. My name is Ada. My name is Izu. Why? When you mention your name, Christ adds it Christ. It becomes Izu Christ. Izu Christ. Are you with me? Ima Christ. Obina Christ. Because it was Jesus. But later, when the Holy Ghost came, it became Jesus Christ. When you shout your name, the Holy Ghost put Christ. Oluchi Christ. And you hear, touch not my anointing and do my prophet Noah because the anointing is the Christ when you shout your name without that anointing they don't respect you confront them say this nonsense must stop this rubbish must stop you can't continue like this you did it 2020 I left you 2021 I left you 2022 I left you 2023 I left you don't try my new year I'm anointed I will walk in the realms that God has ordained me for I will gather the result that the Lord has ordained me for you will not make me lose you can't make me lose you are too small why because greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world lift your two hands and shout amen, amen. confront them confront them confront the barrenness the voice of barrenness confront that voice of insanity confront the voice of poverty confront it when it comes and tell you you will never come up again you are falling and that is over you say no 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 i am seated with christ you can be saying this rubbish it's okay in matthew chapter 16 you read verse 21 to 23 the bible tells us of something that one day G Peter had just told us Jesus has asked them who do men say that I am and he says thou art the son of God huh? he had just declared and Jesus said to him flesh and blood had not revealed this to you but my father who is in heaven then the next thing he said I'm going to die in Jerusalem the Bible says Peter dragged him and began to rebuke him and said so you will not die the Bible says Jesus stepped aside and looked at Peter and said get thee behind me thou devil get out for thou sovereign not the things that be of God but of man get them out of my place sometimes you have to confront them you're too quiet you only cry have you closed your ear and shout back lubunia tabasa kate kapara katanti lakapa when we come for the crossover part of the things you will do is to shout in the realms 
establish yourself in the ranks and begin to tell them i know who i am i know i don't fail i'm a child of god with unfaith confront them I want to see mad brethren in 2024. People who say no, no. Maybe you are just praying alone somewhere and that voice, I can understand. I can understand. When I see you go, go not and you are shouting, no, no. I say, uh-huh, you are dealing with something. But when you just go, tell you tell you tell you I want to see people who run and they are running. Say, Satan, you have to stop this. Stop this rubbish. Stop this rubbish. No more. No more. The authority of this word has been given to me. He has given me power and authority. Whatever I bind on earth is bound in heaven. We need whatever I permit. Whatever I permit. So when he says you will die, you say, I don't permit it. Is hereby not permitted in the realms. I don't permit I will fail. No way. Stand on your feet. Let's pray.